Well, while the rest of the media is giddy over trying to spin the Mueller report in the fashion that they want the narrative to go, uh, there's a little story that kind of slipped through the cracks. Hi, it's Pastor Marty from the Afternoon Drive. You know, one of my least favorite people is not some Democrat, not some uh, lib loon. I like to make fun of AOC, the artist formerly known as HIV, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. But one of my absolutely least favorite people is actually on, supposedly, allegedly, the political right. Ann Bipolar Coulter. Yes, Ann in Heat Coulter. The, the chick that you think is a conservative. The chick you think is anti-liberal and really knows how to bring it. And she is a stalwart defender of conservatism. <laughs> no, she's not. No, she's not. And she proved it. And nobody's talking about it. Apparently, she went on PBS because... Notice how real conservative outlets aren't actually having her on anymore because she went all bat crap crazy over Trump and he hasn't built the wall yet. And now shut up. She's now made it clear not only would she vote for Bernie Sanders, but she said she would work for the Sanders administration if he would go back to his 2007 position on immigration. In other words, no open borders and not letting a bunch of, for better way of phrasing it, ilk into the country that would drive wages down for the working class. Sanders was apparently opposed to that at one time. And she said if Sanders would go back to that position, now he's made it clear even now he is still anti-open borders. But if he would go back to his commitment that we're not just going to let any riffraff in here. She'd campaign for him. She'd vote for him. And she'd work for him. And she said, quote, I'm not worried about that socialist stuff. This is your little conservative darling. This is the one that you felt embraced Reaganism, and she was constantly challenging the party to be more conservative, to go in a conservative direction. It didn't bother you that she could go from supporting Chris Christie to Mitt Romney, that she just apparently didn't have any real conservative moorings? She doesn't have any real conviction. She knows how to sell books. She knows how to provocatively spin a phrase so that she can get on different cable news talk shows and and conservative media outlets. But at the end of the day, this is a gig for her. She makes money doing this. She has no true convictions. She's made her bread and butter on the borders issue, which she stole from Michael Savage. That's it. Deep down, she doesn't really care if Jorge crosses the border. In fact, she'd probably like to mm, Jorge if he's, well, you know, hung well enough. She is a fraud. She is, uh... <laughs> she's a despicable person. See, I can handle people on the left whom I might have vehement political disagreement with if they're authentic in their beliefs. I don't, I don't share their beliefs, but I give them a thumbs up for at least accurately portraying what they believe. I don't have any use for people on the left or right who say one thing and live another continually. That they don't really believe the stuff they're out there on the stump campaigning on, proposing, demanding that the rest of us live by. So that's why some of these socialists, like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, you know, out there talking up the people, yet now we find out she tried to hire a Hollywood agent and land herself a book deal. Baby cakes, you haven't done anything yet. 
talking like an insane lunatic, getting fans to fall all over you, having a big Twitter following. Ooh, good for you. But you haven't actually legislated or done anything. What is there to write a book about? Oh, wait, what am I thinking? Barack Obama wrote books about himself when he hadn't yet done anything other than community organize. But kind of like Adolf Hitler writing Mein Kampf while in prison, we should have seen what was coming with the Obama years because, well, the audacity of hope was his Mein Kampf. So Ann Coulter would now feel the burn. And do I think at her age she would do anything with somebody as old as Bernie? Oh, heck yeah. I don't call her Ann in Heat Coulter for nothing. Look at her. <laughs> she flings that hair back, tries to talk conservative, tries to be sarcastic, and yet at the same time, she's trying to sell what she ain't got. So, Ann Coulter has revealed herself for the lib loon that I have been telling you for months that she is, that... She never really was a true Trump supporter. She made money. She, she's good at reading the tea leaves this election cycle. She missed it completely with Romney. Oh, we had to have Romney. He's articulate. We needed Newt Gingrich that election cycle. Oh, we have to have Romney. He's good looking. He's articulate. And he got clobbered. Obama cleaned his clock. She understood where the country was and that Trump was going to become the president. And she rode that to the bank on the books that she wrote. And now what? She's counting on hatred for Trump that will propel Bernie? Give me a break. But anyway, that's Ann Coulter. Lush to the end. That's it. That's this rant. I'm done for the day. But make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for my next rant.